thank you for watching my initial review of the ATN Excite Scope. I hope you, it helped you. I thought it was informative and there's a couple things that might have helped you in here. I just wanted to go over a few things that I noticed as I was doing the initial setup. I'll do some more videos in the future of actually shooting in the video quality. Let's just cover a few things you might notice when you first set this up. So the first thing that ATN recommends is that you need to set up and install updated firmware because there's a few things that have bugs and even after you update you'll notice some bugs. So one reason why I bought this is because I thought all the features would be nice to operate through my phone, record stuff, maybe even live stream some shots, but that's not going to happen as of right now. They advertise that this scope has Bluetooth and it does not. The only way to connect to this scope is to connect to it through Wi-Fi. And as by doing so, you will eliminate actually having any internet access on your cell phone or whichever device you are connected to it. This is a big drawback for me. Some other features that you might not get that you think you would actually have is when you plug this in USB to your computer, you do not have any access to anything through your computer through the scope. So you cannot read the SD card. You cannot update your firmware through the USB connection. Pretty much it is only a power source at this point, even though in the settings, there's a spot that says USB access that doesn't do anything. There's a few other things in there where if you want to actually change uh, your device, I had issues where I could not actually change my device. I'd click on it through the scope actual controls and I'd hit OK. It wouldn't change, wouldn't give me any options. I had to do this through the Obsidian app. A few other things when you're in there you might notice is that you can't save your profiles to the SD card. I don't understand this. I think we should be able to save our profiles to it so each time we do a firmware update, which they want us to do every time there's a new one or as soon as you get it, you should be able to back up your profile onto the SD card. So if I was given this probably a 1 out of 10, I'd probably have for execution, I'm be at a 5. It's as a scope, it works wonderful. It works great, and we'll go through that in the future, but it advertises Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. There's no Bluetooth in there. Go through the settings, look at your screen. It's not there as of right now. So hopefully they add this to it, and hopefully the Obsidian app will communicate to the scope through Bluetooth because Wi-Fi really gets it kind of neuters your phone, neuters the scope. So while making this video, I used the micro HDMI connector and just ran that through a game recorder and noticed one thing right off the bat. If you wanted to actually connect this to a monitor through the HDMI and take your shots and have somebody monitor what you're doing, you lose any sight, kind of sight picture in the scope. It turns off the screen in the scope. So you would have to hold your rifle with one hand and turn your head and look at the TV or whatever you're connected to. I was hoping I'd be able to connect this and record my shots as I was taking my shots with my computer. I know it's not something you want to do in the field, but I want to just practice at the range and see what I'm doing and get a little bit better quality and maybe even live stream on YouTube or something just for the hell of it. But this is something that I didn't think I figured it would give me a dual monitor where I could look through the scope and send it to a device and record on the side just in case something happens and maybe just to get rid of a little bit of the power drain of the scope itself because battery life on this there's there's no battery life you might you'll be lucky to get an hour the best way to go is with something like their ATN power weapon kit I had the I bought it and then I didn't realize that it was only right-handed it wasn't anodectrous so I ended up going on Amazon and I found the exact same thing where I bought the pouch, but I bought it in a left hand for about $5, bought the power cable for about $2, and bought the battery pack for about 15 bucks. And it was the exact same battery pack. It came in black, and I got the pouch that was actually in green, so it matched the actual ATN bag. So they offered all the colors where I got it. Just do a quick little search on there. You're going to need an external battery pack. I'm looking into trying to get something that will mount to the Picatinny rail on the actual scope 
maybe a flashlight with a built-in USB on the back where I can run the scope off of the battery supply. They have a few of those out there. I'm going to see if I can get one that I can actually mount to it. If I do, I'll do a video on that and show you guys. But again, I'm not trying to complain. I love the scope. I just wish there's a few things that they advertise that it's not actually capable capable of right now. I know they're coming out with the rangefinder soon that will connect Bluetooth to this. I'm so hope, hopefully there's going to be a new firmware coming out with lots of fixes on this. And I'd also like to see the ability to connect this to my computer or connect to the HDMI to a TV and play video off of this through my TV straight from the scope so I don't need to take the SD card out. I just don't see a need once I have my card in that I should be taking it in and out of a device that anything else I have my SD card put in, I put it in once and that's it. I connect a USB cable and transfer stuff off of it. So uh, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it was helpful.